Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking all things homeschool organization as far as lesson planning and record keeping goes. Grab a cup of coffee and let's talk about it. So I don't know about you guys, but I am determined to not only be organized this homeschool year, but stay organized this homeschool year. Recently, we moved and we moved into like, it's the same size as our old house, but it is smaller as far as rooms and storage go. So because of that, I am being challenged to minimize what we have and then, and then to strategically place all of our essential items, the things that we need every day. So there will be a video a little bit later, maybe this month or next month, about how I'm planning to organize our curriculum and our books and our resources. But first I wanna talk about how I'm organizing the year like strategically as far as our lessons go um, and what I'm using. So I have a planner that I wanna talk about, I have pretty cool notebooks I wanna talk about, and I have really cool binders that I'm gonna mention in today's video. So first let's talk about the planner. Now if you've been here long enough, you know that I am like, it's like a love and hate relationship with planners, but I finally found a company and a planner that plans things out the way my brain works, if that makes sense. Uh, I used them last year and it is Family Nest Printing Homeschool Planner. Now their link to their shop is always in my bio. It is my affiliate link, but I always put it there so that you guys have it because not only do they do homeschool planners, but they also do printing. If you ever need anything printed, like myself, I hate printing stuff. I hate putting stuff together. This company is your company. So their link is linked below. And let's talk about this planner, okay? So, so this was their planner last year and it was great. It worked, like it, it worked, it did the job, I loved it. It's the first planner that I actually fell in love with and began to use. Now they gave their planner a whole facelift, y'all. This is one of their new planners. Get ready, cause oh my goodness. Look at this. Look, the gold, do you guys, okay, let me put my coffee down. It is gold, spiral. It is uh, laminated, like front and back, not just a cover. It is gorgeous. And this is what I'm gonna be using this year. And I'm really excited. I have flipped through it. Um, some things, a lot of things changed, but some things stay the same. So they have your verse of the year. They have your word of the year. And then it has um, my why. And I just love that. What is your vision? What is your why? Why are you doing this? Cause you're gonna have to come back to that all year, right? The planner is just absolutely gorgeous. They have your goals for the year for each child. They have pages for the curriculum you're using. Each month has a beautiful quote or a scripture. And then it gives you your monthly layout, which is just so beautiful. You can write the big things that are happening that year, monthly goals, monthly notes. After that, you have your monthly plan, your read alouds that you really are hoping to, to read this month. It has your morning basket planner. It has supplies needed, field trips, to-do lists, notes. And then it has your weekly plan, which I'm so excited to get going on that and to get that set up. Again, my favorite part is the monthly quotes or scripture and then the um, monthly layout. I really do appreciate that. I am so excited to stay organized with this planner this year. Also, I just love this company. I love what they stand for. It's a family company and I'm all about supporting those smaller companies. You can use my link and get a special percentage off by using it. And um, yeah, hurry up because they are like running out of these like that. She's having to restock them constantly. Okay, so moving on to the next thing that I have to stay organized. Now, each year, each kid has a notebook and I love it. This notebook is used for writing, it's used for coloring, it's used for all sorts of things. This year, I wanted specific notebooks for when I do read alouds. So read alouds are gonna be big. Read alouds are always big, but like 
even bigger this year. We're gonna be doing a lot of read alouds and because of that, I wanted a notebook that each kid could have um, that is for them during read aloud. They can write in it, they can draw in it, but they're gonna use it during read aloud. So I got these beautiful personalized notebooks from Family Nest Printing as well. Y'all, like seriously, this is Journeys. And I will say like Journey will be able to write in it, but probably not. To, like this won't be a place where Titus is practicing writing, but he can like write for fun. Um, I want them to write color. These are their pages to do whatever they want during read aloud. This is Titus's and then I also got Teo one. Again, this is a way to keep all their drawings and little notes, all the things that kind of end up being clutter in one spot. Color, draw, do it as often as you want, but keep it in these organized, beautiful notebooks. <laughs> so that is one thing that I think is really going to, for me, because I don't have a homeschool room, it's gonna keep those drawings organized and I'm really excited to use them and they're super cute. Again, you can find yours if you're into those, uh, link down below. Now the next thing you guys are gonna love. These are, I don't even know what company they're from. I got it at the, um, Wonder Here Homeschool Conference. I'll link the company down below once I look it up. Um, I got these because I need to do a better job keeping track of our yearly work. And so this is a way to keep the yearly work organized. And these are homeschool portfolios. Now, oh, I needed this. You guys know I love when everything comes put together. These come put together. For Journey and Titus only, because uh, they are legally the only ones that I have to like track, I got these. This is Journey's and this is Titus's. And it says homeschool portfolio. You can't see that. Maybe if I put it this way. Can you see that? Homeschool portfolio. So she has, um, yep, yeah, here's the company. I will totally link it. So she has a way and how you should use it. Suggestions um, first. It has a reading log and I got a whole bunch of extra printouts so that I can just continue to write what they read down. Activity log, which is awesome and huge because later on you'll find that activities are huge for us this year. And then it has work samples and I am just going to kind of label these like math, language, history and um, put their work samples. Again, this is huge for me because I need to do a better job at keeping track of everything. Right now, our past homeschool years are literally just in, in like drawers, like organized drawers, and that's it. There's no um, dividers in the drawers, there's nothing. It's just like, and that was second grade. So I'm excited for these to keep me organized. And I don't have a code for these or anything, but she was a lovely lady and these are just awesome. So I will link her information down below for you to check out these because if you're like me and you're needing to be more organized um, and you lack space to like have everything set up perfectly, uh, these binders will do. And I plan to do this every school year from here on out. All right, guys, so those are three ways that I'm planning to stay organized as far as lessons go and record keeping go. And again, those notebooks for the kids, again, if you're like me and you lack space, Everything just stays in there. That's enough paper for the whole year for you to draw and create stuff. And if I have to buy more, then that's fine. But having their free work in those spiral notebooks versus like them grabbing printer paper and just creating a paper mess gives me so much peace. I'm very interested in how you guys are staying organized, especially if you have small spaces. I will be sharing how I'm organizing our books and our curriculum in a later video, but that is how I'm organizing things up here for Mama. Because we all know that as the homeschool teacher, if things aren't like organized in our minds, they're not organized at all. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Click that red subscribe button. If you haven't, give this video a big thumbs up. Tell all your friends about us and we will be back again with another video soon. Bye guys.